Hello and welcome back to the Second Chance Live channel here on YouTube. I'm happy to see that you decided to stop by to watch this video presentation. Thank you. In today's video presentation, I'm going to be pre presenting the eighth and final installment of the article Living with a Brain Injury and Being Misunderstood, Maligned, and Manipulated. I would encourage you to watch Parts 1, Part 2, Part 3, Part 4, Part 5, Part 6, and Part 7 in addition to watching this part. As you do and questions come to mind, please send those questions to me. All questions are good questions. In the event that you'd like to leave a comment, I would love to hear from you. To read the article, I'll put my glasses back on and bring up the article. Again, I want to thank you for your time. You're always welcome here and your presence is greatly appreciated. Here's the article, Living with a Brain Injury and Being under Misunderstood, Maligned and Manipulated, Part 8. <clears throat> Excuse me. Although there were many people in and around my life who mis misunderstand and malign who I am, because of my reality, I realized that I no longer need to be manipulated by their denial or lack of acceptance. Although there may be people in and around my life who misunderstand and malign who I am because of their denial or lack of acceptance, I realize that I no longer need, need or have to, be, have to remain confined by the box of their denial or lack of acceptance. Although there are people that dot dot dot, I realize that I need to live my life. In my experience, when I stop fighting against myself and when I stop struggling to be someone other than I am, who I am as a brain injury survivor, living with an invisible disability with deficits and limitations, through confronting my denial, grieving my reality, and learning to accept who I am in my reality, I started to see beyond what I could not do because of my reality to what I could do because of my reality. On February 6, 2007, with the encouragement of a friend, I took the risk, risk and steps to create second chance to, to live, to do what I can do because of my reality in ways that work for me. Today's thought. You may be living with a brain injury, an invisible disability with limitations, or another disabling condition, or you may be you may have experienced trauma, abuse, or adversity during your lifetime. You may find yourself being misunderstood, maligned, and manipulated because of what people in and around your life choose to deny or accept. You may find that you are having a difficult time accepting your reality and yourself. You may find yourself focusing on what you cannot do rather than on what you can do. And here's something that someone shared with me uh, years ago. If nothing changes, it will remain the same. My encouragement to you, my friend, is do the necessary work to confront your denial, grieve your reality, and learn to accept and love yourself in your reality. Stop struggling to have another reality other than the one that you have experienced and you're living. Stop finding your excuse me, stop fighting against yourself by attempting to validate another person's denial or lack of acceptance. As a friend, friend encouraged me to do, let me encourage you to do also. Take risks and steps to do what you can because of your reality in ways that work for you. And I like this prayer. God grant me the serenity to accept the people that I cannot change, the courage to change, the one I can, and the wisdom to know it is me. If you have not already read the previous parts of the series, I would encourage you to do so, my friend, by clicking on the following links to each part of the series. And I include links to parts 1 through 7 in my 8th the eighth part of my article here on Second Chance to Live. By doing this, I believe you'll get the benefit of the whole article by watching each of this uh, previous seven parts in addition to this eighth part. I want to say so long for now, but I want to also encourage you as I need to remember and encourage myself, please do not give up on yourself. 
a loving God or your process because more will be revealed to you in time. The pieces of the puzzle will come together in the correct order and at the right time. More will be revealed to us as we take one step at a time. I'll say so long for now. Have a great day and I look forward to future times with you. So long now.